All right, so in this video, I just want to share my story of dealing with Thatcher customer support when dealing with defective products. I uh, received these um, Attitude V5 uh, goggles from Banggood for review uh, about a month ago, and they arrived with a broken screen here in the front, and with that basically not visible or usable, I'm not able to actually use the goggles and review them. So. I was kind of stuck and I contacted Bamboo and they were like, well, you should contact Fatshark Fat customer support. And uh, that's what I ended up doing. But I wanted to do it in a way that was going to be kind of discreet where I wasn't going to be known because obviously I didn't want special treatment as a reviewer. Um, so I asked one of my patrons to um, act on my behalf and contact customer support at Fatshark. It's uh, email support at fatshark.com. And he contacted them, explained the issue I was having with the goggles. And they, you know, uh, actually responded very quickly. I was like, I think, oh, he sent the email on a weekend. They responded right away. At first, they were, they told us to um, contact the retailer, and then we told them, and the retailer told us to contact them. And then they're like, okay, fine. We'll, um, I guess, they assigned this uh, uh, case to, uh, I guess, a local um, service provider. And there actually happened to be one uh, in Southern California where I lived. And I actually, it's just. Uh, sent it off to them. They actually sent an email saying, oh, you just mail the defective product to this address and they would service it and send it back. Now, that's a, I, I, overall, you know, it was pretty fast. I, I mean, I was a lot back and forth with emails between like basically three parties. Um, so, and it was like, I think I started this whole process like around the Thanksgiving holiday and, and now it's almost Christmas. So, it's kind of a lot back and forth. I did send them off um, towards the middle of December after I kind of went away for a week for vacation. And uh, then after I sent the goggles off, uh, they fixed them within about a week and I got them back uh, just like a couple days ago. So yeah, the whole process was pretty painless. It cost me, I think, $6 to ship this off to um, their service center, which actually, Oddly enough, was someone's house. So I looked up the address. It was not actually a business uh, business or, or wasn't zoned for commercial, it was zoned for residential. Anyway, that not being quite, apparently they probably have people uh, locally uh, in various places so that people can just send off their products and get them serviced pretty quick, which is kind of nice. So overall, the process was pretty quick and painless. Uh, this was the, um, I think I, I've had several fat shark products and none of them have been damaged or have broken in any way. I, my first um, goggles were the uh, Dominator V3s. Still have those, still use those. Um, not as often anymore, so I'm pretty much I switched over daily to the SkyZone Sky O3 O goggles. Um, uh, but in the whole time that I've had the Dominator V3s, they've never had any issue and they still work. So. And I also have recently gotten the Scout goggles, and those are fine as well. Um, so this is the first one that I've gotten that had any problem, and kind of sadly, they were broken right out of the box. And it seems like it's fixed now, and everything's fine. But yeah, this is the first time that I've had any opportunity to deal with Fatshare customer support. And I have to report that it was very good. Um, I would say that, like, the fact that I had to mail it off to them at my own, dump with you know, basically at my own cost, was a little bit disappointing. I mean, if you compare it to say like DJI uh, customer support, I uh, I think the last product uh, I've actually had several products I sent back to DJI that were broken, um, and they've all been fixed under warranty. Uh, but they always, I guess, their system is kind of more, uh, I guess we say evolved or not. Yeah, it's a little bit more sophisticated. So they would give you a UPS shipping label by email. You use that, ship it off to them, and then they ship it back to you. It actually doesn't cost you anything to deal you know, in terms of mailing stuff. But, you know, I mean, they have a lot. You know, in my case, it wasn't that much. It was like $6. It's not a lot to cl complain about, but if you compare it to, say, DGI customer support, that's pretty much the only big difference. And, and you know, for the most part, everything worked great in terms of um, DGI versus Fetcher, because I think that's the only major difference. So that's pretty much it. You know, I just wanted to report what it's like to deal with Factory customer support. Basically, you have to contact them, and they, you know, to, you're probably going to ask you some questions where you got it from. They didn't ask anything about like um, uh, purchase receipts or warranty, so they probably went off the serial number on this guy. I'm imagine I don't really know how their process works, uh, but none of that was actually asked or answered. 
and just I just shipped it off to them. They fixed it real quick, and then they shipped it back, and I got it back within a week. So, again, the whole process was really smooth. So I know that uh, there's a lot of people that do know about the the customer service process at Fashark and have dealt with them before. Uh, but I just wanted to share this with my viewers that may not be aware of how their process works or who to contact. I've, I'll just put that email down in the description. Uh, I just wanted to say that, yeah, I think you're, the, the experience will be positive and you shouldn't have any issues. You just have to make sure that you explain the problem to them. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously you have to ship it off to them, but then you'll eventually get it back and it should be working. So anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the customer service process at FetchArk. Also, if, if you have any experiences that are not consistent with what I've said here, let me know down in the comments below. I'm really curious to see what those circumstances might have been. Um, also, if you've dealt with other FPV companies like, say, Amway or SkyZone um, and their sort of process on dealing with defective products, yeah, let me know down in the comments below as well what your experience has been like because I haven't dealt with that, that any of those other companies other than this one time so i just want to share this information with you guys and also at the same time hopefully you guys can share your experiences down in the comments so that other people can also benefit from that information anyway i hope you found the video helpful and i'll talk to you guys in the next one